Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am back in the building for the first weekly haul video of December. That's right, it's time to open some boxes. Well, not just boxes, boxes, a couple of bags, some packages. We have all kinds of good stuff, hopefully, today. There's a couple of things. I already know what they are because, well, they say I'm on the box, but some other stuff I have no clue and I'm excited to jump into it. So first of all, let me turn on a few more lights in here so that we can get everything looking nice and bright and shiny. And uh, there we go. All right. Okay, here we go. We have a couple of people in the building. If you're in the building, throw me a thumbs up in the comments section so I know you're there. We have Billy Mays in the house that says, can't wait. All right. So there we go. We have nice to nasty Lane in the house. There you go. I see you in the building. Says, hi, good afternoon. And uh, there we go. And uh, I'm the Brown is in the house. We have C Dub, C Dub, Dub, Dub. There we go. We have Sandra, uh, Sandra Guillory. And uh, you know, we have a couple of winners in the building because we have Sandra who's won. We have Nice to Nasty Lane who is a multiple winner. She just wins. Everything she does is winning. So there we go. We have, uh, let's see here. We have Nell Benjamin. <clears throat> and Sandra, this is not a giveaway show. This is my weekly haul video. So, you know, appreciate it if you still stick around, but this is not a uh, this is not a, a, a uh, this is not a wine and winner show. This is just a haul video where I get to open all my packages that people have sent. So, all right. Let's open some stuff up first. You know, as I often say, I open the bags first because the bags are easy to get into. And I have a couple of bags here. This one is from Amazon. I have no idea what's in it, but it's got a little size, got a little heft. So let's open this bad boy up and see what our first thing is today. And this one is going to be, it says uh, the Seamore or Seymour, Seamore, I think it is Seamore binoculars. These are the C200 binoculars. Check that out there. These are the Seamore uh, binoculars. And these did come from Amazon. And there is a code on here. So let me see if I can actually scan these. And um, let me see if I can scan these and bring open the um, and bring open the page there and see if I can get this. Now, let me see. I've been having some trouble with my Amazon in the past where I can't seem to get the the um, the photo thing to scan for me. Yeah, like for whatever reason, I can't seem to get it to scan when I when I search with the. Uh, Oh, wait, there we go. Is this it? No. <laughs> For whatever reason, I'm having trouble getting this thing to scan when it comes to my my Android app. I can't ever seem to get it to work. So I end up having to go over to my iPhone. And let's see if we can get this thing going on my iPhone here. Because I want to tell you how much this thing is. And there we go. All right, let's get that open. Scan that. And there we go. These are, look at that. These are right now $39.99, and you can get an extra $10 off coupon right now. So check that out right there. There you go, $39.99, and you get an extra $10 off coupon, making these only $29.99. But let me show them to you because, well, these things are kind of cool, I think. Um, you know, for people that are out there that need some binoculars for whatever reason, let's see, how do I open this? Here we go. Let's. Uh, so first off, we're going to get... A, uh, a nice pouch here we're going to get a uh, uh, we're going to get a strap for them and it looks like it even has a cell phone clip and holder so you can actually mount a cell phone to this and it has a little attachment so you can uh, connect it with your camera on your cell phone so you can take pictures through the binoculars which is kind of cool so all right let's see here let's get these out you know, one thing I like about these, they're not all that heavy. They're heavy enough that you can feel that there's glass inside of there and not like some sort of just real cheap plastic construction. But the outside has got sort of like a rubberized, you know, grippy texture to it. Um, it feels like it feels like they, they made the outside housing out of plastic to keep the weight down. But if, but you can still definitely feel there's glass in there. So, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, this thing is uh, this is nice. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. So anyways, you just roll these down so that you can get these in focus. And um, and these are going to be multi-coated 10 by 42 there. So let me see if I can get that in there for you. See that? These are multi-coated 10 by 42. And uh, yeah, these things are looking pretty cool. All right. I like them. 
Well, these um, let me go ahead and uh, let me put their let me put their Amazon thing back up on the screen for you, right quick, so that you can check them out and see and see what they look like again. And I'm gonna leave a link to them down in the video description so that you can check them out. But there, there they are. I love binoculars. Binoculars are something that I think everyone should have. You should have some in your car. You should have some in your backpack. If whatever, you should always have some binoculars nearby. Because, you know, maybe you want to go bird watching. Maybe the zombie apocalypse happens. And you need to make sure that there's no shamblers out in the distance, whatever. You need to make sure that you have a way to see off and far away. So binoculars are great. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. And I'm going to grab my Android phone and stick that off to the side. Because for whatever reason, since it's not going to work with my, uh, with my Amazon page, I guess I'll pass. So... All right, let's see here. We have Pedro in the building. Vote for Pedro. Definitely. If he runs for something, vote for Pedro. All right. Let's see here. Um, we have Leon Yates says, Leon from Fort Worth in the house. Big ups, Leon. I see you in the building. Big ups to Fort Worth too, man. My, uh, my pops is from Fort Worth. So shout out to all the Texans out there. Get vaccinated, by the way, Texans. We need you to. All right. GG is in the building, says, hello, everyone, and hello, Larry. See you in the house, you know. Um, Amda Brown says, wow, keep my binoculars in the car, not the safe. Who knew? There you go. See, you got to keep those binoculars with you always. You just never know. You never know. I'm telling you right now. Maybe maybe uh, it's a zombie apocalypse. Maybe it's a, uh, you know, maybe it's a crazy terrorist takeover of the nation and you need to be able to see off in the distance so you can know if you can run up to that water tower and refill your tanks. It can be all kinds of post-apocalyptic stuff that can happen and you need to make sure you have your binoculars ready. So, all right. I'm just playing. That's just straight craziness, but you never know. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with this next bag i have no idea what this is this is from fedex and it looks like it came from uh it looks like it came from china from shenzhen so this is coming all the way from uh from across the world and i have no idea what's inside but let's see they did pack it up nicely little box right there uh, if i was coming from uh from somewhere else, some other country. I think this thing might get searched and x-rayed the way they have it taped up. It looks like something out of a out of a movie about the DEA or something. So <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's see what this thing is. I like these little boxes though. These little boxes come in real handy, especially when I ship out prizes because they're nice and small. They're not expensive to ship. So all right. Let's see. Oh, looks like there might be two things. So it looks like we have, it says Deeper Connect Pico and Deeper Connect Wi-Fi Adapter. Um, I have no idea what this is. All right, let's see. Let's, let's see if I can get this box opened here and see what we have inside. All right, this is, oh yeah, I have no clue. It says Deeper Connect Pico Interface Introduction. And that's, so that's what that's looking like right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bright. Let me see if I can get that closer right there. But yeah, I have no idea what that is. And this is the device right here. Let me see if I can get this out. That is, that is the device right there. And I, there we go. And so, yeah, I have no clue what this is. Deeper, deeper connect Pico. And it looks like this is maybe like it's it's got like four with one, two, three, four USB C ports on there. So we can see that there. It says you can see there as one, two, three, and four USB ports on there, but I have no idea what this thing does. Not even a little bit. And there's, you know, it comes with a, it comes with a, uh, a power cable and a, uh, and a power brick inside there. So um, I think this might be, I think, cause you know, on the bottom, on the back of it here, on the back of it, it does say, it does show have like the icon for, it shows, I don't know if you can see that there's an icon for like a USB or for like a landline, an ethernet port. 
And so maybe this is, I think this might be some sort of like router device that you can use to connect and maybe get, I don't know. I have no idea. Let me, let me see. This thing says Wi-Fi adapter on here. It says deeper connect Wi-Fi adapter. I think this might be like some sort of VPN um, sort of type device. Now it says, oh yeah, this is, so this is a USB-C port adapter. I guess it's a Wi-Fi adapter on there. So I'm going to, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a hundred percent sure what this thing is and what it does. So I'm going to have to actually do some research, figure it out. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was planning on doing a review of this. I think this might've been like a unboxing or maybe like a haul video only product, but I think I might end up having to actually review it because I don't know what it is. I can't really talk about it right now, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to check it out, do some research, figure out what it is. And then I'll tell all of you in a future video. So look out for that. It will come soon. And uh, yeah. All right. This light is really bright. Let me, let me turn this down a little bit. Let me see if I can get that turned down. So let's see. Hold on. This thing is, that is bright. There we go. Let's turn that down. Let's go to about 10%. See if we get that going. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Who else is in the building? Uh, Sandra says, give it to me. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I feel you on that. All right. We have uh, we have uh, Neil DeRamo says, hello, Larry. It's been a while. Hope your holidays are great. Thank you very much, Neil. My holidays are going really well so far. Um, I spent... Um, I spent time at my family's ranch uh, for uh, for Thanksgiving, which was a lot of fun. I'll have a video of that coming up soon, showing my wife doing some ranching out there. So yeah, it was it was a good time. So check for that coming up soon. Uh, Pedro again says some sort of power hub. That's what I was thinking, Pedro. Maybe it's a power hub, but I think it might be like some sort of because it has a Wi-Fi adapter. I think it's some sort of like uh, like a VPN or DNS type of device that's supposed to connect to your router or something. We're gonna figure it out though. We'll get it. We'll get it straightened out. I don't see any labels on here though. Um, the the Deep Connect Pico. I don't see any labels on it. But you know what? Let's do this. Let's just go to Amazon right quick, and let's just type in Deeper Connect Pico and see if anything comes up. <clears throat> and I don't see. I see a Deeper Connect unlimited mini smart vpn router oh maybe it's something similar maybe it's something similar it does oh you know what yes it does have it has the same brand it's the brand is generic it says and even though it's it looks different mine it looks different than the one i have this one's very similar it has the same uh it has the same uh company icon on there so you can see that. Now, this thing is crazy, crazy expensive. You can see that it's very, very expensive. So we're going to check that out. But um, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to dig a little bit deeper and see if I can find some more information on this particular model. Um, but it looks kind of cool. So, all right. Well, hopefully I can show you, uh, I can give it to you, give you some more info coming up real soon on there. All right. Let's see here. Sandra says... Um, I'm cooking, I'm cooking seafood gumbo for Christmas. What's on your Christmas menu, Larry? You know, I don't know what's on my Christmas menu just yet. Um, probably some ham. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll grab some duck or something. I have no idea. We'll have to figure it out. But that gumbo sounds really, really good. I like that. I like that idea a lot. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and uh, freeze some and ship it over, I'll be happy to uh, to eat it on Christmas. So, <laughs> all right, let's grab this next one. I thought I was going to be able to tear it open, but let me just go ahead and cut through it and uh, get that thing opened up here. Let's see what this one is. And this is going to be, what is this? This is the Vicard, no, the Vicseed car holder mount. It says, make your life simple. All right, look at that. And uh, this one is actually from Amazon too, so that means there should be an, a uh, there's an Amazon barcode, so I should be able to scan this and give you some more info about it. This one is yeah, the Vixseed Store. This is a 15 inch long cup holder phone mount, stable and adjustable gooseneck um, adult cup uh, excuse me automobile cup holder. 
So now this one's really nice. It's also, there's another 8% sale on there that you can have. But here's the thing about it that's nice. You can see that that is the cup holder. Um, that's the cup holder mount that you can put in there in, uh, in your car. Now this is important because some places you cannot have anything mounted onto your windshield. Some places don't even allow you to mount anything on your dashboard because they figure that it's in your line of, in your uh, eyesight and your line of view and it can be a distraction. So they don't want that. So some places don't allow any of that. You have to put something on the vent or in a cup mount. So a cup mount is going to allow you to, to have it out of view of anybody because it'll be blocked by the door. So the, if you're driving, the police see you, they're not going to see anything mounted anywhere where they'll give the, you a reason to get pulled over. So this is, this is kind of nice. Let's, you know, let's do this. Let's actually, um, let's open this up here and actually take a look at it and see what it looks like. And, um, I'm not sure how much this thing is together or how much you have to get put together. Some of these things are like in multiple pieces and you have to really put them together, but let's see what we can figure out with this one. So, all right. Looks like, looks like it's in about two pieces so far. So maybe it won't take long to get this thing properly put together. So here's the cup mount part. It's got a little weight to it. So you can see there, that's kind of nice. And then we have the gooseneck so that you can get the right angle. Um, now, the only downside is of having a cup holder mount is, well, you have to give up one of your cups, You one of your cup holders. So if you're on a road trip or something and you have multiple people, uh-oh, I dropped the little clip part. If you're, uh, if you are on a road trip and you're, and you have multiple people on there, that could be a problem if everyone needs their, uh, their own cup holder. So, all right, let's see if I can get this thing going. Was we'll just snap this in there. So if you don't, if you see need to see how to put this together, you put the little ball, right? Uh, you make sure the little ball part, the little uh, tightening clip is right there, and this pops right on in. And then you can just go ahead and uh, and this screws, and you just have to make sure it's lined up. And let me make sure I get that lined up properly. I think I might have had it in backwards, but let me just double check. I think we have that. Yeah, I think I. There we go. All right, get that going. And there we go. Now it's nice and tight and we have our phone clip holder. And so, yeah, so there we go. And you can just, um, let's see, there should be a little release on here. So, oh, right here, you may see that right there. That is a little release button. You just push that and it opens up and then you can grab your, uh, actually this goes, this is upside down. So let me go ahead and turn this the other way. There we go. And now I'll release it. Now you can put your phone right in there, push that to tighten it up, and there you go. And if you want it in a vertical mode, you know, you can leave it like that. If you want it in horizontal mode, you just turn it. And then now you have this thing mounted up. So this goes in the cup holder, this mounts right here. You have the gooseneck so you can get it at whatever angle you want. So, and when you want to release your phone, you just simply push that button again. This releases take your phone right on out. So yeah. All right. That's it. That is the, uh, the Vic seed one. And again, this one is only, uh, let's see, this is right now it's 35 99. You can save an extra 10 or excuse me, extra 8% off on that right there. So yeah, very nice. Okay. You know, this is one of those gifts that if you need a nice Christmas gift for someone and you're not really sure what to get them, and you want something that's going to be useful for them that they can use all year round. That's going to be something that's nice to give to someone. So, oh, yeah. All right. So um, big up to that. And again, I'll leave a link to it down in the video description so that you can check it out if you're interested. So and that's one of those nice secret Santa gifts, too, because it's not too much. It's relatively inexpensive. So if you if you work for a company or a school or something and you have a uh, a dollar amount limit, that's a nice thing because it usually will stay under the, uh, the dollar amount that people set. So, all right. Now this one here, this is, uh, this is something that I actually bought myself because on black Friday, they had a, they had a deal where there was no shipping regardless. There was no shipping cost regardless of the, uh, the cost of your order. And so I bought these, uh, these little tank tops. I love these things. They're from, um, they're from 32 uh, below. And if you've never shopped at 32 below, definitely check them out. They're a store that sells all kinds of stuff. A lot of, a lot of stuff like, uh, like base, um, like uh, base layer stuff. But here is a tank top. This, Oh, 
there it is. It's a two pack, but it's just a regular tank top. But the thing that I like about this, it's like this, it's like this uh, mesh sort of uh, moisture wicking material. And the reason why I love this is because I have had issues in the past where I go out, especially in the wintertime when I've traveled, I've gone out, my wife and I are walking we're all over the cities or something, or we go hiking. I, I sweat, I sweat sometimes a lot because I'm not a small person. I'm, you know, I'm six feet, 200 and something pounds. So I'm not a small individual. And I sweat when I go out and work out or when I hike or whatever. And so sometimes I sweat, I get real hot. And then we stop somewhere, I cool down and I have wet clothes underneath because I've done so much sweating. And then the next thing you know, I get sick. So this right here, I've been wearing these. And what I found is that they, they really wick all that moisture. They, they, they keep that moisture away from my body. And so I end up when I sweat and then I cool down, it keeps that moisture away off my skin. So I don't, don't end up getting sick. And so I've been slowly transitioning over to these uh, sort of undershirts. And so I, ha I bought a number of those, but these are from 32 below. And let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can pull them up, pull their website up and show you what they look like. 32 degrees. Oh, sorry. 32 degrees, not 32 below. So there we go. 32 uh, degrees. And let me see if I can find the uh, let me see if I can find their the actual. Well, I'll just I'll just show you the website. You can find the listing there on your own if you want. But this is the website. It's 32 degrees right there. They have stuff for both men and women. I just went to the men's part because, well, you know, I'm a man. I'm shopping for me. So, but the website is 32degrees.com. Check them out if you're interested. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, so let's see here. <laughs> let's see. Uh, it says, it says, hello, my third, my 72 year old body would not conform well visually to that. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. It's not a visual thing. It's an undershirt. That's all I wear. It's a, I, it's an undershirt. I wear them underneath my clothing, so I don't really care what I look like when I'm rocking them. I put them on as a very there for me. Those are very much function over fashion. So you know they're not the most fashionable, but they are very very functional. So let's see. He said, "Need one when I'm watching a, a wine and winter show." <laughs> Yeah, you might need one. You know, it's funny. I wear what I do by wine and winters because I get in here and I'm drinking. I get hot sometimes. And yeah, so you just, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, all right. We have Uncle Kev in the house says, hey, Larry, uh, and all that all in the chat. Big ups to you, Kev. I see you in the house. Another winner. You know, our winners are showing up today. Says uh, Doe King says, hail up, Mr. Larry. Big ups to you, man. I see you in the building. You know, oh, look at that. The infamous. Tim Windsor is in the house. Says, up, brother? What's up, brother? Uh, Larry, driving home. All right, man. Will you be safe? Listen if you can, but don't, don't get yourself in any trouble. Just stay safe. We want to make sure you stay around for a very, very long time. All right. Um, let's see here. We have a couple of little packages here. This thing, I have no idea what this is, but somebody taped this thing up like they were trying to protect it from I don't know what. But this thing is, this thing is seriously taped up. So let's see if we can actually get into it. And uh, cause they, uh, yeah, they went to town on this thing. Let's see, get all this stuff off. And uh, I think I might have to cut through this a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see here. Man, I'm trying to cut through it without actually cutting whatever's inside there. So. There we go. I think I might have gotten through a little bit. There we go. I think I'm getting in. Ah. Let's see. I don't know what this thing is. Hopefully it's good with all this. Ah, all right. Here we go. I'm always happy to see this. We have some uh we have some new wireless earbuds. It's the uh the Oremo uh free pods three. The Oremo free pods three. Check that out there. All right. That's what they look like. And um, we're not going to test them right now, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. Um, I don't see any, I don't see a barcode on there. So I don't know if they, where they sell these, but I'll have to, I'll have to do some research and see if I can find out. They may be on Amazon or something, but, oh, there's two, there's two stickers on there. So let's see if we can get them both off. And uh, let's see here. Let's. Now, most of you know, 
I can only have so much stuff that I can use and I can only have so much stuff in my house. So most of the stuff that I, that I end up, you know, receiving, I review it. And then I, at some point I'm giving it away because, you know, it's just not right to keep all this stuff to myself. I have to share the wealth. So, all right, here's the case. And it is a very small little case. Look at that. This thing is tiny. Look at that. All right. And then there are the, uh, there are the earbuds right there. Let me see if I can take one out and, uh, and show one to you. So there we have it. There are, that's the earbuds right there. It has very much the same style as like the AirPods Pro. Um, one thing I do like about them, let me see if you can see right here, if you can notice that that's like a rubber silicone style uh, cover so that these should stay in your ear a bit better. So I don't even know what side, I think that might be my right ear. So let's see here. But yeah, so these should stay locked in your ear a little bit better. So let me see if I get the other one in there. This is going to be the, uh, is this the left one or right? I guess I'm assuming this is the left one since I have, yeah, this is the left one since the other one's the right one. So just want to make sure I have the right one in each ear. But yeah, yeah, look at that. They are secure. Those, those rubber silicone things definitely help keep them in your ear. Yeah. All right. Well, I might have to, I might have to test these out. I'm not really sure, but they actually, they fit really really fantastically i have to say they're comfortable in there so shout out to them for putting those uh those silicone tips in there yeah and i think they i'm not sure how they stay in let's see i know some people really care about this yeah these things are not coming out of there they are locked in there so you don't have to worry about these things slipping out um you can also see right up front there is the they have those lights right there to let you know how much battery is left in there so once you open them up and shut them you'll see that you'll get those battery indicators. And on the bottom, there is a USB-C port on the bottom, if you can see right there. So, yeah. All right. It looks like we're also going to get, let's see, there's some other stuff in here. And if I can get it out. So it looks like we're going to get a USB-C cable. And there's going to be a couple of extra ear tips in there and a user manual in there. There's a user manual as well. So, all right. Shout out to them. I like that. You know what? I kind of kind of curious. There, there's no there's no um, tag on there. There's no barcode or anything on there, so I can't really scan it. But let me see if I can figure out. Let me see if I can scan this and see if there's um, if it comes up with anything on on Amazon. These are the. It says the Oremo. The yeah the. Aura, Aura, Aura Amo, can't pronounce it, but these are the Free Pods 3. So O R A, O R A I M O, Free Pods 3. All right, let's see. And are these going to come up? I, oh, wait, I think here they go. Oh, yeah, look at that. These things are not expensive at all, they're 29 99 and you can actually save an extra 25 percent off right now so you can actually save another what is that 750 or something like that so there they are yeah these look like a nice stocking stuffer gift as well so if you're looking for a nice christmas gift for somebody and you want to have a nice stocking stuffer gift these are going to do it because they're not bad i mean at 29 at 29.99 or 30 bucks plus another uh 25 percent off that's going to be like seven fifty off of that. So you're looking at maybe like twenty two bucks, twenty three bucks. Yeah, these are legit. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> but I like those a lot. Let's see. Um, let's see. We have Alex in the house. Says that's very cool. Um, yeah. Oh, Robert Rivas showed up. All right. Says yes. Uh, yes. Some fall. You. Uh, you don't know how many times uh, earpods have fallen out. Yeah, me too. I have had those things fall out of my ears. I don't know how many times. So let's see here. We have Midnight Madness says, what's up, Larry? You made big ups to you, Midnight Madness. I see you in the house. And um, Sandra says, open the big box next. All right, let's open the big box next. She wants the big box. Let's open the big box. We have a couple of smaller boxes, but let's open the big box next. Let's get this one. Let's get this one cracking. See what we have. It's kind of nice to open the big ones first sometimes because you get them off the table. It gives me more room to operate. So, all right, let's get this thing going. 
and see what this is. And this is a, oh, so let me get this going. This is the Bob and Brad neck and back massager. Look at that. Man, that is pretty sweet right there. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Uh, there we go. The Bob and Brad uh, neck and back massager. This thing has power control, breathable mesh covering, reverse for uh, reverse the nose for instant relief. It's heat enabled and it has three optional speeds. So, yeah, big ups on them. That is really, really nice. Um, this does have an Amazon barcode on there. So let's scan this thing and see how much this is. These massagers, you have no idea how much these things really, really help people. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people in the world that have a lot of tension and stuff that need to be worked out, a lot of pain. And not everybody has someone in their life that they can actually sit at home with and say, hey, can you rub my back or my neck or my head or whatever? And some people don't have money to go get massages. They don't want to because of COVID. So Having devices like this really, really help a lot of people. So, all right, let's see if we can um, <clears throat> let's see if we can find this. I see a number of uh, massagers, but I'm not seeing the Bob and Brad one. This would scan, but it didn't scan. It didn't bring open this one here. So, all right, I may have to um, I may have to actually go and let me see. They they do have their store. But let me see if I can find their back and neck massager. I may have to actually go ahead and look this one up later and then let you know what it is because I'm not seeing it right away. So, yeah. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and post a link to it. Oh, wait, here we go. I think this is it right here. The back and neck massager from Bob and Brad right here. It's, 30, it's sorry, $69.99, and you can save an extra $15 off of this. So that's going to bring it down to what about $55 something like that so yeah there we go that is it right there that is uh that's nice so <clears throat> you know what? let's do this let's, let's actually let's go ahead and see if we can open it up a little bit and take a look at it since we have it right here let's uh let's go ahead and see what we're going to get so it looks like we're going to get these are I guess this is the covering here and it even has it looks like it even has a car uh, it even has a car mount or a car charger in there. Um, and then here is the massager itself. So, yeah, let's, get, you know, let's just take this out of the bag. Let's just do it. Let's unbox it right now. Let's just unbox it completely. So this is it. And this is going to this is going to lay on you right here. And then I believe this sort of straps in somehow. I'm not sure. Maybe you. um. Maybe you put your arms through here. Oh, I think that's how you do it. And then this actually, uh, once you turn this on, the massager things are in there and it gets you going. And you can, I believe you can put this on your back if you want and do the same thing and, and strap it in and get it going. So we'll have to see. I'm not exactly sure how this thing works, but we're going to try and get this thing figured out and see how I like it. So, yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. That's the Bob and Brad neck massager. This thing right now is $69.99 with an extra $15 off coupon. So that you can, um, so that you can get this thing for for about, I think it's that would put it at around fifty five dollars, something like that. That's really nice because if you're looking for a very nice gift for someone, let's say you're looking for a gift for your mom or your dad, something like somebody who did you really love or a spouse or somebody. This can be something fantastic for them because it's going to show them that you care, not just about. You know, not just because you want to give them something random, but something that they can continue to use all year that will make you uh, make them think about you when they use it. So I love gifts that people can actually use all year. There's lots of gifts people get and you say, oh, that's kind of cool. That's a nice little trinket. And they like it for the moment. It's it, but it's not anything that's really memorable. Something that you use all the time, those are gifts that people really, really end up appreciating because they can use them all year long. So, all right, let's move on to the next one. We'll take this little one here and let's see here. Let's see who else. Is. A couple other people have popped up in the building. Oh, look at that. The, now you guys talk about you guys some of you call me the living legend. This is the real living legend right here. Legend Dorch, my nephew is in the building. Big ups, Ledge. I see you in the house. So he is the true living legend. All right. 
We have Jay Mack in the house. Says, what's up, Larry and everyone? Big ups to you, man. Big ups to you. See, Harold Johnson is in the house. There you go. Says, listening to Who's Gonna Save My Soul by CeeLo Green. Uh, Naros Barkley, big ups. Yeah, that's, that's some good music right there. There you have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Pedro said, sharing is caring, and you do that for all of us. We love your channel, not just for sharing and giving away, but for also caring. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, sometimes I talk so much, start to lose my voice. But that's why I have my teeth. And you know what? This little thing right here, this is a Bindle coffee tumbler from Bindle Bottle. It's funny because they sent me this thing to review, which I did. And then I love this thing so much. I use it every doggone day. I pretty much don't use any other cups. I just use this. I wish I had two of them so I can just have one in rotation so I can have one washed and then use the other one. But I use this. And when I want to switch up whatever I'm drinking, I just wash it out and keep on pushing. But I use this nonstop for almost everything. I rarely use another cup anymore. Hmm. But that one, that is the coffee tumbler from uh, from Bindle Bottle. Check them out. They are fantastic. Reviews on my channel, too, if you want to see the review. So let's see here. All right. We have uh, we have one journey in the house. Says, hi, let's make it count. Big ups to you, man. I see you. And for all of you out there, if you're watching, hit those thumbs up on there. Hit those thumbs up. They matter because it sends a message out to the YouTube algorithm saying that people like this video and value the content and YouTube will push it out to more people. So if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up. So, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, here we go. Says that is true. People don't like to give massages. Some people just don't, you know, some people don't, but other people do. Some people don't, but I think everybody pretty much, well, not everybody, most people like to receive massages. I will say that much. So um, whether you get one from a device or from another human, I don't think anything really matches the human touch. But if they do, whew, look out, boy. You talk about something that's going to sell like hotcakes. If you can create something that actually replicates the human touch, that would be amazing. So, all right. Now this one, this is the Lee Winner wireless microphone. And I'm actually quite excited to try this one out. So this is it right here. This is the Lee Winner wireless microphone. This one, it says it has a, uh, a 15 millisecond ultra low latency. It has smart noise cancellation, long working time, sound and picture synchronization, 360 omnidirectional microphone for clear pickup. It's tiny and portable, a re a recording while charging, and real-time monitoring. <clears throat> now... One reason why I am super excited to try this out, because if you notice on here, if you notice on the uh, on the trans or excuse me, on the receiver here, if you look at that, you'll see there are three different connections. You have a 3.5 millimeter connection. You have a lightning connection and you have a USB-C connection on there as well. Now, the reason why this is so very cool is because if you want to have a microphone that you can use with pretty much all your devices. I'm hoping that this is gonna do it. So if you have an iPhone, this should be able to do it. You should be able to plug the lightning port in there. If you have an Android phone, you should be able to plug the USB-C port in there. If you have a regular camera, you should be able to plug the 3.5 millimeter uh, port in there. If you have you know, some other camera like a DJI Osmo Action 2, you should be able to use, use the USB-C port on there. So it looks like it's gonna be a very, very cool microphone, a very convenient microphone, wireless mic to have. We just have to see if it sounds good and if it has decent range. So now I don't really worry about the range too much with these types of microphones because I'm usually not very far away from my uh, from my receiver and my transmitter. Usually I'm using it when I'm vlogging. So but if you want to mic up somebody else and have them wander around, then something like this, you're going to have to check the range on it first. But that's why you have me so I can do these reviews. So we're going to check it out. All right. Um, this one here is from Amazon, and I don't know if there is a barcode on there, but we're going to see. Um, let's see if I can. Oh, yep, there we go. There is a sticker right there. Let's see if this comes up. And this is $69.99, and you can save an extra 20% off. So that's going to be about, uh, what, what, about 14 bucks, something like that. So 
that will drop it down from 69 to 59 to about $55. So, yeah. So there we have it. That is what it's going to look like right there. And you can see right there, there is a discount code down or discount box. You can click that right there to save an extra 20%. So now this is great. If you have a friend or a family member who is a YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber, or a TikToker, or a vlogger, or, a, you know, Instagram real person, someone who shoots a lot of video with their phone, this is going to be really nice. I think this is going to be great for a lot of people because you don't have to know what kind of phone they have. If you want to get something for someone, you're like, I don't know, do they have an Android phone? Do they have an iPhone? I'm not really sure. You can grab this because it doesn't matter. It's going to have all the connections that they need right there on the receiver. So big ups to Lee Winter on this. I like this. I'll to, I'm going to test this out and see how it performs. So shout out to them. All right. Let's see here. Um, we have a few new comments in here. We have, uh, we have lady Z in the building. I see you lady Z. I like that, uh, thumbnail a lot. That's kind of, that's really kind of cool. All right. We have Daniel says, yay, another live stream. Big ups to you. Uh, Sandra says, stay hydrated. Yes. I need to stay hydrated. <laughs> uh, mega power puff, uh, mega puff girl says, Larry, you're on early. I am. I am on early today trying to, cause I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of products I need to try and get reviewed and up on the channel before christmas so i have a lot of work so i'm trying to get this stuff done early so let's see we have legend says small box on top next the true living legend wants the small box the small box it is all right let's see here let's open this up right here let's cut through that and uh and see what this is and cut right through there and see what we have oh let's see toss that off toss it. oh it says this is a car charger it says model c13 it says uh let's see input voltage 12 let's see i'll just show you right there what it looks like it says that's the brand name and uh let me actually you know what let's do this let me just open this up and i'll read the back of the box and tell you some of the specs of it as you guys can take a look at the actual device here so now, these little car chargers, I can tell you, uh, having just made two very long road trips, car chargers are invaluable because everybody in the car nowadays has a device. They have a phone, they have a tablet, they have a phone and a tablet, they have smart watches. You need places to plug in your devices in the car. And this little thing right here is looking like it's going to be pretty nice right there. We can see that. Let's see if we can get that going. There's that. This is going to be the other side there. So it looks like we're going to have one USB-A and one USB-C port in there so that we can plug in and get it charged up. And then you can see that is the car charger part right there. So, yeah. All right. And this one says this is going to uh, – it says the Model C13 is going to have input voltage of 12 to 24 volts. Total output is 5 volts or 27 watts. So it's going to provide some fast charging says connect your device to the car charger by suitable cable. The car charger will intelligently identify your device and make sure the charging won't bring a damage to your device. It says fashion and cute design with small pool tab that is easy to pull out. So let's see. Oh, I see it. So you may be able to see, right? Let's see if I can get that in there. So this is going to be the little pool tab right there. That's going to allow you to, to pull this thing up and out of the, uh, out of the charger. So yeah. All right. Big ups to them. All right, I like that a lot. And this is from, from Lee Han. And let's see if we can uh there is a sticker on there. So let's see if we can let's see if we can figure out if there let's see if that'll scan and you know, we can figure out what this what this thing costs. All right, let's see. There is let's see, let's see. Let's hit that and scan that. Now, I don't know if this is an Amazon. It looks like an Amazon code, but it doesn't seem to be scanning. So, yeah. No, it doesn't seem to be scanning. That's random. All right, let me try it one more again. And no. All right. Let's do this. Let's go and uh, let's just type it in. Let's type in Lee Han. Uh, let's see. Lee Han car phone charger and see if anything comes up 
and I'm not seeing anything for it. So, all right, no worries though, no worries. I will find some info on this and I will post a link where you can get it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to find it. But anyways, this here it is. All right, we'll toss that off to the side for the moment. Let's see here. Let's see, we have some new comments in the house. Um, here we go. What is this it says? Uh, no farmer, no food. True that. True that. People don't realize, so many people do not realize where their food comes from. People think their food, food comes from the grocery store. No, that is just the intermediate stop. You, your food comes from a farm, a ranch, someplace where people have raised and grown that food. And so, yes, ranches and farms are very, very important. And we need to make sure we protect the not just the farms and the ranch land, but the people who actually run them. So, yeah. All right. Let's see here. We have Tom L in the building says, really love the live shows. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, um, we have Gigi that says, very versatile mic. It is. That thing is a very versatile. I'm really looking forward to actually testing that one. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So, all right. We have Tom L says, love you for years before uh, you have, have to tippy toe through YouTube algorithms. You're still, uh, still a favorite in this house. Thank you so much, man. I love that. I love that so much. Yeah. Uh, the YouTube algorithm has gotten to be, it's its more challenging to work with YouTube nowadays, but they've had all kinds of things. They've had Adpocalypse 1, Adpocalypse 2, Adpocalypse 3. They've had all kinds of craziness. They've changed the rules. They've modified the rules. They've made it uh, more challenging to work on YouTube. But, you know, it's like anything. You just have to roll with the punches and keep on going. So, yeah. All right. This one here, let's get this. This is the last one on the table. But this is not the last one. I actually have two more behind me over there. And you may be able to see there's a box right there and a box right there. And we're going to get to those in just a moment. They are too big to fit on the table. So we're going to go ahead and check those out in just a minute. All right. Let's see. Let's throw that off to the side. And this is, oh, look at this. This is the Iron B wireless remote shooting grip. Look at this. And this is going to be, I believe, for Sony cameras. So this is the uh, this is the Iron B remote wireless shooting uh, shooting grip. So it says right here it says ink key Iron B vlogger kit remote handle. So this is now if any of you out there shoot with Sony cameras, you may know that Sony actually makes a version of this. That's a Sony version that I believe it's a little bit more. I think it's about 160, 80 bucks or something like that. So it's, it's, it's a little bit expensive. This one is a bit cheaper here. And, um, and let me see, uh, there is a barcode. Let me see if it scans in here so I can show you exactly how much it costs. And, and let's see there. For some reason, it's not scanning. All right. I think, let's see here. I think I can find this one relatively easily. So there we go. And let me click that. All right, here it is. Yeah, this is the, this is the brand is WGP. This is the Inky Vlogger Kit Accessory Remote Handle Magnetic Detachable Tilts 90 Degrees Swivels 360 Wireless Control Unlimited Shooting for Canon and Sony, it looks like. All right. Now, it says it's $99, and it says there's a 5% off coupon, so you're looking at about another 5 bucks off. So about so about 95 bucks or 99 I guess technically it's 99 so it's not a full 5 bucks for something, but... Um, this is going to be less uh, expensive than the Sony version of this thing. So the Sony version is uh, is I forgot how much it is, but it's 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 I think it's close to around two hundred bucks or something. But yeah, here it is. Um, I am going to do a proper unboxing of this, so I'm not going to open it right now because I'm actually going to unbox it and uh, and review it and try it out. So we'll save this for that. All right. Now we have a couple of other big boxes over here. And we'll grab this one first and get this thing. And for some of you, uh, let's see, you might be able to see here that this is already, you might be able to see, this is the iLife W1 cordless wet dry vacuum cleaner. So 
for all of you out there that need a vacuum cleaner, this is great because it's not only it's a wet dry, which means you can actually use this to mop if you needed to. So if you spilled something in your kitchen, your floor is sticky, whatever, you can actually go ahead and, and still use this even though the floor is wet. So um, let me see if I can actually um, let me see if I can cut through some of this plastic and see if I can get this out. I don't know how much of this is put together and how much of this is uh, needs to be assembled. So that's gonna determine how much of it I show you right now. If it's mostly put together, then I'll just take it out and, and show it to you. But if not, then we'll have to do, I'll have to do it when I, uh, when I do the full review of this thing. So let me get this all out and oh, something else. Oh, there's a little brush on here. So. First of all, we're going to get, let me close my knife up so I don't cut myself open. So this thing, we're going to have the, uh, we're going to have a power cable there. We're going to have a, it says a HEPA cleaning brush right there. And then this is going to be another cleaning brush right there. So like a bottle brush, it looks like. Maybe this is for like cleaning out a hose or something there. So stick that back in there for the moment. Um, we have warranty cards and a user manual. And then see if we can get there's a, like a little uh let's see oh, oh, there, oh, oh, not coming out not coming out oh there we go this is the base we'll, i'll show you that in just a moment and it looks like it's mostly assembled there is a handle part that needs to be that to take out of there but that this looks like this is the base that where, where you can put it at and I don't know what this does. I think this is just, oh, there is a connector. There is a connector here because this is cordless. So you can uh, charge this wirelessly. And then I believe this is where it's gonna sit. This is where you're gonna have, I guess, some sort of tube or something. So maybe some accessories go right there. Um, here is the main part of the vacuum. Oh, look at that. You can see the actual spinner, brush spinner things in there. You can see that right there. It's kind of clear. And this actually detaches right there so that you can i guess so that you can clean this if you want to so yeah cool all right let's see if we can get this back on easily i don't know how this works i'm just sort of taking stuff off willy-nilly let's see if i can get it back in there oh yeah look at that i like that anytime stuff works really easily i like that as you can see it has a nice swivel so it moves in different directions um and then locks right back up um, yeah, this thing has a little bit of weight to it, which I like. It doesn't feel cheap and flimsy. Um, there is, this is the handle right here, I guess. And, um, this is going to go right in here. I would imagine. Let's see if we can get this thing in there. Let's see. Um, let's see. How's this going to, oh yeah, look at that. I put the whole thing together, right? This, I am not a mechanical person. I am not someone who's easy that can put stuff together easily. So when I do it, I'm loving it. So it looks like this is going to go right just like that on here. And let's see. There you go. It's going to go just like that in there. You can see the back part is where it fits for the connector. And then uh, it plugs in. Let's see. Where does it plug in at? This thing plugs in somewhere. And then it... Uh, and then that's where that's where, oh there it is right there on the back you guys is missing it right there, that's where it plugs in and then you can uh and then you can charge this thing up so all right big ups to them nice all right well let me just let me see if I can get this thing back in here somehow and we'll leave that there I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave that put together pretty much because well it's pretty much already put together so let me toss that off to the side and uh, we'll sit the manual stuff back in the box. Get the power cable and the brushes and stuff put that back in the box as well. that thing is awesome you know what um let me see if i can let me see if i can actually scan one of these one of these labels and find out how much this thing is but if any of these things will scan i'm not sure if they will um yeah i don't see it it doesn't look like they're scanning all right, this is the iLife. What model number is the iLife W100? Let me let me see if I can pull this up on Amazon. So this is the iLife W100. Oops, W100. And let's see if anything comes up. And I'm not seeing it. 
I see some other iLife stuff. Let me just, you know, let me do that. Let me go to the iLife store and see if it comes up. Let me go to the iLife store and see if their vacuum comes up. Now, I don't know. Sometimes these vacuums are new. And so, <clears throat> and so sometimes they're not always readily available on the Amazon site yet. Plus they have all these, you know, all these issues with supply chain stuff. So let me see, let me hit the menu. Let's see, vacuum with mopping. And I don't see, like there's a list on here, but I don't see the, I don't see the, um, the whatchamacallit. I don't see the, the I-100. So yeah, let me just, let me just search for W, Oh, sorry, the W100. Let me see. I don't see the W100. Let me let me search there. Yeah, it's not even showing up on there. All right. Well, anyhow, there is the iLife store, and they make all kinds of other vacuum cleaners like uh, robot vacuums and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll have to uh, I'll have to do some some searching to see what I can find as far as uh, as far as where you can get where you can get that particular model, but. One thing I can tell you I like about it already is that, well, it's super, super easy to put together. As you see, it just, I mean, I was able to put that thing together in just a matter of moments right here. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Saunders says, Larry, I'm applying for a job at, uh, at Rebox. Everything, uh, everything you unbox. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Amda Brown says, I bought my wife a vacuum once. She didn't talk to me for a day or two. <laughs> I bought her a newer bag, iron and washing machine. Now I'm single. <laughs> yes. Don't buy, don't buy your wife household cleaning stuff. Just, you know, just leave that to her. So <laughs> let's see. Robert says that vacuum looks cool. It, it does look pretty cool. I'm hoping it works well. Says, uh, let's see. Pedro says my wife likes it. All right, big ups to her. She has good taste in vacuums. It looks like so. Uh, nice and nasty says can't wait to show that it works. I hope that it does work really, really well. I'm looking forward to that. So, all right, there we go. All right, let me let me open this last one here, and let's see if I can get this thing open. I'm actually looking forward to this one a little bit. And this one is the snail snail wax. And let me see if I can get this thing up. Uh, uh, there we go. This is the snail wax massage chair. And it's not actually a chair. It's one of those massager, um, you know, like chair liner things you put on your chair and massages you. Uh, but this is the model SL 923. And yeah, so anyways, um, let me go ahead. There is an Amazon barcode on there. So let me go ahead and scan it. And see if I can uh, bring it open, bring it up and show you what this looks like. And, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is just the, wait, I don't think it's actually the chair, but maybe it is. It says it's the actual chair. <laughs> I didn't know it was a chair. I, I thought it was just like, you see how it is on there. I thought this was just like the liner part, but it says it's actually a chair and it does have some weight to it. So it might actually be the chair. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up and, and see if this is the actual chair or if this is the liner part because if it's a chair, well, I'm going to have to figure out where I put all this stuff because I'll be honest with you, I have a small place. My place is not very big and, <laughs> and I have a lot of stuff. And uh, I wish it wasn't so expensive to ship the stuff because I, you know, I'd love to share some more of this stuff with you, especially the big stuff. Um, this is definitely the chair. Those are the arms right there. This is definitely a chair. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that there for the moment because I'm gonna do a full unboxing of that and uh, and test it out. But that is um, that is it right there, as you can see. And this had, this is going to be, oh, look at that. It right now, it says that it's $269.97, uh, $69 but it says you can save $100 off. So that thing's going to drop down to $169.97 with that uh, coupon code. So big ups to them. All right. That's it. That is everything. That is my haul video 
for the week. Um, yeah, I have to say I had a pretty good haul video this week. I had some uh, a variety of stuff. I mean, we had, let's see, a massage chair, a vacuum cleaner, a neck and back massager, uh, you know, um, a camera handle, a vlogger handle grip, binoculars, wireless earbuds, a wireless microphone, a car mount, some tank tops. What else did I get in here? There was something else. Oh, this that VPN sort of thingamajiggy that I don't know what it is. The the car charger. And I feel like there's something else I'm missing in there too. <clears throat> but um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff over in there. So anyway, I'm going to leave links to everything down below so that you guys can check it all out and see it and get more information and pick up anything that you're interested in because, well, Christmas time is Christmas is the Christmas time is here. Christmas shopping season is here and Christmas is only a couple of weeks away. So if you're interested in getting anything for your loved ones or for yourself, make sure you grab your stuff that you want now because, you know, shipping is taking a little bit longer this year. There's supply chain delays. So if you're interested in anything, once you see it, grab it, don't delay. And uh, yeah. So anyways, there you go. We see a couple more people in here. We said, Uncle Kev says, thanks for doing that. Uh, big ups to you. Shout out to you, Uncle Kev. We have uh, Sandra says, great haul. Thank you very much. It was a really nice haul this week. Uh, we have uh, Pedro says, I'll be watching. Uh, I'll be watching when, when you do. Thanks. So, yeah, um, we have the, the real living legend right there says it was fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Gigi says, have a great day and night, everyone. So. All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming through and showing up and showing out. Um, again, uh, I will leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check everything out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And, um, and again, I'll leave links to everything down below. So anyways, until next time, I'm Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.